Hello again everyone, Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Pallas in Aquarius in a natal chart. Now, uh, Pallas in astrology can be connected with how uh, we may resolve dilemmas or issues. Now, given that we're talking about Aquarius, it may be uh, the, these issues and dilemmas may be resolved uh, through ingenuity, uh, unorthodox methods, uh, perhaps through uh, innovation even, uh, selflessness. Uh, I mean, this could be the person that turns the bicycle crank into an oven rotisserie or a shoebox into a humidor or, or what have you. Or like when you see like on, uh, on MacGyver when he had that, uh, there was one episode where he used some jugs and, uh, and rope um, in, a, in a means to extricate himself from a certain uh, situation. I mean, um, but that's a little bit, you know being flippant there but anyway you understand what I'm saying as far as using ingenuity to resolve issues and also um, at the person's amicability may be used to resolve issues as well and uh, computers uh, through means of the internet uh, this could be somebody that could be very proficient in troubleshooting computers could be very good at electronics or even uh, with astrology and also, um, issues may be solved through friends and even group-related uh, matters. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that. I'm back. Now, also, too, pals and astrology can be connected with our perceived uh, relationship uh, with our dad or father. Now, this may be a connection that, given an Aquarius, may be somewhat erratic and sporadic, but may be very friendly as well, very amiable energy, but one where you showed uh, perhaps a lot of consideration uh, to one another and selflessness uh, as well. And anyway, while we're talking about uh, palace and astrology, it can also be connected uh, with disputes, uh, contentious situations. It can be where uh, one may have a number of disputes with friends, their acquaintances. It could be, um, it could be over, it could be environmental, global issues. It could be um, internet wars, um, because the internet, of course, could be connected with Aquarius. It could be over showing a very eccentric or non-conforming or rebellious manner. It could be matters connected with that, where there may be arguments over. It may be arguments connected with one's freedom and independence. Uh, but anyway, well, uh, palace and astrology can also show the attention on certain on concepts. And given that this is Aquarius, there may be strong uh, focus and attention on concepts like connected with um, astrology, astronomy, esoteric subjects, computers, electronics, uh, information, uh, technology. This person may have um, certain ideas that may be very new and, and very unique connected with um, astronomy and astrology and might even be just on new technology in general. This could be a person that could be very strongly um, uh, focusing on concepts associated with the future, some ideas, some innovations that can be uh, associated uh, with with uh, as far as going um, forward, um, things that are the, you know, real new technology, being ingenious. Uh, this could be uh, also too. We're talking about palace and astrology can also be associated with legal issues. Now, this could be a person that might get embroiled with legal issues that are associated with something of electronic nature or even hacking. Uh, maybe this person has their computer hacked and they have to bring somebody to court over it. It could be over some kind of cyber crime uh, in some cases uh, as well. It could be over like an invention and you know who who does it belong to and, and, and patent issues that are associated uh, with it so those are some way those are some legal issues that one may get involved with and also Aquarius energy is very unusual so it could be some unusual legal matter that the person may wind up getting embroiled in or at least there's a greater propensity for that uh, as opposed to uh, you know as far as this placement goes in contrast to many other placements one could have astrologically 
Now also too, uh, Pallison astrology can be associated with debilitations or issues one may have that could be attributed to an immune system that is depleted or diminished. Now uh, perhaps in this case, since we're talking about Aquarius, it could be some circulation issues that may uh, be, there may have a correlation with that in an immune system that may be uh, depleted in some uh, cases. Now. Um, Anyway, and also keep in mind that Aquarius also is associated with the ankles and the shins. Now, I don't know if there can be a correlation with problems with the ankles and shins to do, due to a depleted or diminished immune system, but you may I want to look that up and confirm whether that is true or not. But that is something, if that is possible, if there can be a connection with a depleted immune system, those could be sensitive areas, uh, the shins and ankles as some examples. So anyway... Now, also, too, this could be a person. We're talking about palace and astrology. It's also associated with art. This could be a person that may be enamored with very unique, unorthodox, or even computer uh, art. It could be something that's very high tech. Graffiti art can be something the person they have may like because graffiti art, I think, is, is kind of connected with rebellious art. Graffiti art is a lot of times, of course, it's illegal. It's when people, you know, it's like a, a form of like defacing in many cases, like on buildings. And I'm not saying this person would be interested necessarily in drawing it, but there still could be, uh, this person may still be enamored with that kind of, of art as far as looking at it so and enjoying it. So anyway... Now, palace and astrology can also be tied in with tough choices one may make in conjunction uh, with one's connections that are male. It doesn't necessarily have to be a male that uh, in, in a relationship, a, a, a romantic situation, it could be a platonic male. Uh, somebody that just plays a dominant role in your life scheme. Now, um, this could be a person uh, that make make those decisions with a very clear, lucid energy, very perspicacious, and with good reasoning ability. And by being objective as well, not allowing the personal nature uh, of the connection to intervene or, or say conflict with making a rational, uh, logical uh, decision. So. Sometimes, though, the decision may be made on who is more of a stronger friend to the person or or who shows that, that selfless energy more. Is it person A or person B, since we are talking about Aquarius energy? Now, um, also, Aquarius, I mean, sorry, Pallas can be connected with the kidneys. So the thing about this is this could be some very sporadic and erratic uh, kidney issues or ones that are somewhat... I don't want to say enigmatic, but ones that you don't, it might be hard to, to see, you know, where it's coming from or, or on, or maybe it, there's, there are kidney issues. The person they have that are very, not just sporadic and erect, but very unpredictable. They come about very spontaneously, uh, perhaps, or maybe there's something unusual about the kidney issues. Either they're very minuscule, they're super, might be super minuscule on size, or if there's kidney stones or, or if, or, or very large, uh, in size. So anyway, well, palace and astrology can also be associated with the strategy that one may employ or use to traverse uncharted territory. This could be a person that may simply uh, do this by exuding friendliness, showing aim amiable nature, being that universal friend and showing a consideration in the in the environment that they are traversing that may be new. It could also be by means of showing altruism uh, to these people as well in this new area and also could be done through perhaps social media and social networking. Now I understand a lot of people may connect with others in a new environment through, uh, through social media and social networking but there could be perhaps a greater proclivity to do it. Um, because we're you're talking about as far as pals being in Aquarius with this placement more so than most placements astrologically. Now also too, this could be and also uh, 
this could be a, a, a thing too where um, you're talking about palace and astrology can be connected with patterns. Now this could be a person that can be very proficient and astute in the understanding of astrological or astronomical patterns or even meteorological patterns as well. This could be somebody that might do very well in like weather forecasting or doing work in aerospace or being an astronomer or even an astrologer because this is also patterns people may understand people that have this placement may be very may excel in understanding certain patterns that are connected with one with the future whether it could be global matters or environmental or what have you so anyway people that'll conclude uh, this YouTube astrological segment and until next time people Edwin Leonard saying stay well